Well, hello and welcome back to another vlog here today. Tonight, actually, I will be going to the opening week of the Chinese Lantern Festival Illuminites at Zoo Atlanta. I am super excited to see this event. Now, it used to be at Centennial Park, but now, uh, two years later, it's back and it's at Zoo Atlanta. I am so excited for this. Uh, from what I've seen, it is so beautiful and it's just going to be an amazing time seeing different lanterns all lit up around the zoo and I do love the zoo. That being said, let's go have ourselves a merry adventure. goodness if you look at this right here now these are all lanterns that are around here that are really really beautiful so it is quite chilly here so it's about uh, 5 45 right now and look at this this is only the beginning so we can see a little bit down there you have an elephant near the entrance but it's really really packed so we're gonna take a look at more of them right here but if you just look this is really gorgeous I like this but we're gonna go around through the African savanna to see what else that we can see as far as uh, Chinese lanterns. So right here we have more lions and then you have the king of the jungle right here. And look how close you can get. Again, illuminates at the zoo. You can see how beautiful this looks as it's appearing here on the camera for you all, but this is really beautiful and how close you can get. Of course, don't touch, but it's really, really nice. I really like how amazing these look. It really glows and pops. We're gonna see so many amazing lanterns all lit up here. It's gonna be really magnificent. So I'm gonna go over here. These lights change overhead and they remind me of the little like floating specimen that's in um, Pandora, the world of Avatar rather. So it looks really cool as it's just floating there but it looks really amazing. And they're changing colors uh, all around but I do like these a lot. And there's more over here that you, you can see they're now blue. We're gonna take a look over here. It's just really beautiful how they set this up. Usually this area people just pass through, but I think this is worth stopping. So I'm gonna stay right here, step back, because look at this whole perspective, this whole view, as we can see the elephants, but I'm gonna get a little bit closer, because it is pretty magnificent. Uh, so this is again by where the elephants are. As you can see, elephants right here, so it's really cool, and I like this. It's a little bit harder to see the elephant there, but they have more all around since this is the area of the park where they are. And as we walk down the path, you can see zebras, or how they say in the UK, zebras. <laughs> but they're right here. We have a good amount of them. It's very, very nice. Now, with the white and black hair, these really pop. And there's so many, as we mentioned. So right over there, that's where we saw the elephants, but turning around here, back down the pathway, this is where the zebras are. Ooh, we have stumbled upon the giraffe lanterns. Then over here, this is really beautiful and this really pops with all the flowers. Of course, again, admire from afar, do not touch, but these lanterns are really spectacular all around so all the different colorful lights really pops at nighttime, really glows, and then again, Underneath the big light here, you have the giraffes, just all around, very beautiful. As we're going to come up upon so many more lanterns here at the zoo. And coming up, the gorillas, the monkeys, the baboons, all of them. Let's take a look right here. Oh my. <laughs> This is really cool. Hopefully the camera's doing it justice because they're very well lit, they're very bright, so it's harder to see. But it also works very well, and I like it, especially the ones with uh, different colors. So we have the camels over here, and then they have this area that you can take a picture. It looks like a giant bonsai tree, but that is really, really cool. Again, take a look at the flowers and the giraffes just right across from each other. Coming up over here, we see the camels and then some cacti over yonder but this is really cool as we are much closer and like i mentioned with the different colors it really really uh stands out in the nighttime so with it being this season and it being dark around 5 30 you can come here early you don't have to come here later and you can still get all these wonderful views here at the zoo look at the camel and then the cacti right here really really like i mentioned it pops and it glows there's that purple light it looks blue on the camera but these look really amazing so normally during the day you would see the elephants over here just walking but now you can see the lantern elephants then this pathway you can see this is where uh you would be able to see and feed the giraffes but can't see them right now as we can only see those giraffes that I just showed you over there. But 
how nice these elephants are as they're illuminated here at nighttime. Just glistening and glowing and just really stands out with the lights. Um, I like how it looks. You can take a little bit of a peek where I was showing you with those lanterns overhead that we walked under, but here's a different look at the elephants. Nice. Probably so far my favorite one here in the tongue moves with like a fly on its tongue. But this is really beautiful. Hopefully it comes in. Yeah, here we go. You can see the colors right there. Looks really, really amazing. Again, with all the different colors that really pop, the crocodiles with the green, like the like teal to them, really, really pop as we have a big, big one right here. But we have three right over here and then a like more so orange yellow one right there big crocodiles on the hill and some monkeys he looks rather mean but his arms actually move so i really like this <laughs> i really just like this placement i wish that this could always be like this at nighttime it could be here all year round this is the biggest one of the whole event so far all of the jellyfish that we can see where we would go into the area where the amphibians are and it's just really nice even the ground is well lit with lights and just the giant lanterns of jellyfish so so amazing this does not do it justice of how amazing this is as we look on through and see the scale of these beautiful beautiful masterpieces seriously i i really think this is amazing so they have this area lit up let's uh take a look on the back side so all around the outline they have some string christmas light and then up here super excited to see the flamingo wish they had this up front near where the actual flamingo are but these are very well lit we're gonna take a closer look oh wow <laughs> I uh, wish that like hopefully this is really coming into the camera with the pink color but this really is very spectacular how beautiful this Chinese Lantern Festival actually is and how beautiful the lanterns look. I mean just how they have them here just in different areas around the zoo it really looks good and the colors hopefully it's coming through the camera for you guys to see very well but it really like i keep saying it really pops as the different colors really illuminate on through and it, you got to get out here one of my favorites here on the side is the komodo dragons as we see all of them right here <laughs> so fantastic and impressive look how big this one is this thing chasing you would be terrifying as one's in the tree and then one is here trying to scare us seriously amazing as we just continue to walk on through and see more and more of these Chinese lanterns and again we all agree they have done a great job here with this event for 2021 then we see the praying mantis we see the snails the slugs the giant ladybug and then just imagine in the olden days when things creatures were this big in the jurassic time <laughs> that is really scary to see as you're just walking by and a giant like slug snail is just like right by you really love this event as we can see the bears right here to the right all of the bears in the woods that one's a little uh, scary but wow seriously did a great job here with this event and i really really mean that oh wow just all the bamboo around here and then with the green light that is shining then you see like the pink hippos like they're coming out of the water and is really impressive if you just look at the scale of these things it's just they did a great job making them come to life as they pop and then just the design of these lanterns are quite impressive it's <laughs> just just simple small things really really are working here at the zoo wow and again another look here at the hippopotamus right in front of us so in this area where the komodo dragon usually is they have the dinosaur lanterns right over here inside as we can't get through like we're looking through an exhibit this is seriously like jurassic world-esque but lanterns the t-rex is moving very very cool <laughs> and our favorite animal here at zoo atlanta the red panda even has a lantern that is so so cool <laughs> oh man you can see just all the colors this is really beautiful as it's illuminated here at night 
with the lanterns. The red pandas are here. That's so, so cool. So on the other side, you have a moose and then a beautiful tree with the fall colors. It really pops as we look through here and you can see through the forest. They did a great, great job. Look at these lanterns. So let's pan on up and look through here. All the bamboo with the green lights. And then Bambi is right in between all of the bamboo as we're taking an inside look at this event with all of these wonderful lanterns as we're going to go around the pathway. This is seriously spectacular. I love all the uh, just the different lights that they have that meet the animals and just really just does not do it justice here on camera. But seriously, these lanterns are top notch, top tier. So looking at the backside of them right now and then that wonderful tree that's lit up over there. Look at this. <laughs> just taking a look one more time. Amazing. And seriously, look how beautiful the tigers are as we're walking through this pathway. And it is truly, truly spectacular. Very nice. Look at these tigers all illuminated and lit up. And then on the side as well as we look. Aren't these cranes? Uh, let me know. Okay, so they are cranes. That was right. So the crane on the side here, other side of this board, it's a panda lantern. Wow, and he's just eating or he's just chilling, relaxing, and then more around there. So if you go straight on through there, you can see the actual real panda sleeping at this hour. But this is really nice though. So right here, they have some like arts and crafts that kids can do because it is the year of the tiger coming up. So they're doing something in honor of that here in the China area where the pandas are. Very nice. The giant peacocks right here. Look at the giant peacock. So beautiful, so amazing. As let's get in the front to see it well lit as it's just illuminating the colors right off of it. So beautiful here. So I like this. It's near the uh, food court area, but we're gonna take a look here at Shamu. So this might be one of the highlights here as well, as we are under the sea and how this really pops. I think this is really nice on camera. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well as we have a crab, we have a whale. Is that Nemo? I think that's Nemo right there. But this is really beautiful as we take a look from this angle on through. Just, just take this in y'all. It is amazing. <laughs> the Chinese Lantern Festival, so beautiful. So underneath the tent, look at the tail here as I keep panning, it keeps going. Look at this dragon all the way through here. That is impressive. We're gonna take a closer look at the head. That is amazing. Look at the scale of this thing. Again here, taking a look closer up to the side, this giant dragon lantern and its head moving. Look at the scale of this thing all the way here. It takes up the whole scale of this whole tent area that is usually here. But look at the scale of this dragon. <laughs> but it's just beautiful here on camera and in person seeing it, but you have to get out here to see. So now in front of this thing, this is massive up close in person and how it moves and just the, the me mechanism of it's just so impressive. And the colors, like I said, it is really amazing as I get even closer. A lot of people in here, but wow, it is seriously beautiful. So after leaving the tent with that amazing, amazing dragon again, that is beautiful and I cannot say enough about it. But going through here, it smells like a petting zoo here because it's the children's zoo area, as we are at a zoo. But look at the blue lights here with the dolphins as I'm walking underneath and then just where they're posted up on is very beautiful, very well lit as they have so many of them along the pathway, as we can see. Is that a llama? <laughs> That just randomly here at night, like just out, just up right now. I'm speechless, this is amazing. Wow, that is pretty cool to see. <laughs> but <laughs> that is so, so cool. And then again, more of the dolphins. That is very impressive. That's even more impressive. Wow, beautiful. I'm so sorry, a little bit mistaken there. It is an alpaca, uh, but wow, a little bit closer here looking at the alpacas. So as we look, on this little pathway, you see different flowers, a giant well-lit lantern frog, 
And then the giant birds. Look at the color of that. It looks like stained glass that you would see in a church. Seriously beautiful. And more here as you can see this other bird. And then another one back there along with the giant dragonflies. And the, oh, big frog as well. This area usually is like a kind of Harry Potter theme slash uh, you can have birthday parties underneath here. It's really beautiful. We'll take a closer look there in a second because on the other side of this board they do have some amazing lanterns as well. But look at these. It's like it reminding me a little bit of Lion King as they're very well lit as I step back a little bit more and you can see the scale and the beauty of these. And the color really pops out that they did a great job like I said once again and along with these truly are beautiful. Then looking here from the side underneath the pavilion you see all of the penguin as we're going to take a closer look at them right now. Oh wow that's so cool. Is he going to start dancing? Happy feet? I think that's him. That's the same one. But look at the scale, the beauty, and then he's moving right there in the middle as they're posted up. Really magnificent and beautiful. I just cannot say enough about this event. Just wow. So here in the what would usually be the children's splash area where water will shoot up, look at the polar bear. Look at all of the wonderful, like, <laughs> just lanterns here. So many different varieties just absolutely fantastic as you see the baby polar bears right there as well look at all the beautiful flowers as we look back and then around and you can see some kangaroo right there as we're headed out this is the end stretch the final leg of this event you can just really appreciate the scale and how big the zoo is and then they utilize almost every aspect of the zoo and just there's no dead spaces they have lanterns and lights everywhere. Wow, I will say, this might be the, the second best Christmas event here at in Atlanta. Probably behind uh, Atlanta Botanical Garden, which is fantastic. You can uh, take a look at that in the link in the description down below and the iCard right there in the corner to take a look at how beautiful that event is at the Botanical Garden. But that we're here, this is really amazing as well. Look at these flowers. This one is uh, mostly out, but still lit right there but it's really nice as we can see and on the other side all the kangaroo as we head on out of the park and lastly headed out look at these o's the rings with the beautiful roses the beautiful tropical birds now he, all the o's but it doesn't actually say zoo like we think it should but it's still nice it's just ooh right there as we can see it's so nice though and so so beautiful <laughs> then lastly before we head on out of the zoo taking a look here at the elephants near the entrance here so as you can see one over there and one to the right as well as you would start your trek on through this event this is very very nice and it's good to see these these are uh, big photo opportunities for people to see these wonderful lanterns like I said really impressive here at the zoo right at the entrance so they started out strong another one there so so nice so beautiful this was really really nice here all right so I just got back from the zoo and I, I have to say that might be the second best like Christmas time event second or third here in Atlanta. That was really amazing, beautiful, well decorated, well themed. The lanterns were just gorgeous in peace. They were they were nice, they popped. <laughs> That's the word for the night. They really popped. Um, Just the how they were illuminated. Get it, illuminate? <laughs> yeah, anyways. But it was really beautiful, it was really amazing. Uh, the pacing, just the, there were no dead spaces around the zoo. It was really, really nice. And I love that about it. Um. I really wish that they had this all year round at nighttime so you could visit and then they would be there and kind of switch them up but for the holiday seasons right now it's perfect for it. So I would really recommend this. I highly recommend this event actually for you all to go out to and check out. It was really fun. My wife and I had a great time. It would be a great date opportunity. Also tons of families were there so make sure you bundle up because it's cold right now but it's it's suited for all walks of life and it was absolutely amazing. So. 
I, again, I recommend it. So they do have like, of course, alcohol served there. You can get your hot cocoa and whatnot. All that, the normal things there. But yeah, it was amazing. I had a really great time. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a nice like there. Also subscribe if you guys are new. Till my next video on my next adventure. Take care, be well, and have a thrilling day. And happy holidays, everybody. So if you enjoyed the video, you can support the channel via Patreon, where we have all new live streams and exclusive content and giveaways that are dedicated to the patrons on the exclusive Miguel the Annual Passholder Patreon page. And also, if you like looking nice, you can support the channel via our merchandise shop at annualpassholder.shop. You can find amazing t-shirts and hoodies such as this one that you guys can purchase for the low. And feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn it from red to gray and like this video if you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much and have a thrilling day.